Hey guys, Van here from rcnightmare.com. Uh, today we're going to show you how to change out the spur gear on a center diff. Um, well, this center diff is actually specific to the slash 4x4. So that's what this video is on, changing the spur gear on a slash 4x4 center diff. OK, so here we have um, the center diff already taken out of the uh, chassis and the rear assembly here. It was pretty straightforward to take it out too. Um, if you've seen the other videos, you probably uh, saw the same instructions, but it's two screws on the top and then two screws underneath the chassis back here. So with that out, on the center diff, now the center diff and the slipper uh, the way the, the spur gear is, or sorry, the spur gear, yes, the way it's configured is uh, slightly different. The size and the inner diameter and everything is different. So uh, if you upgraded from the stock gear to the uh, center diff here, you only be able to use the, the center diff spur gear and not the stock one. So pretty straightforward process to remove the... Uh, spur gear here, just three screws, and just like what my what I'm doing is um, taking the 54 tooth uh, spur out and putting in a 50 tooth one. We're finding that the uh, motor and ESC uh, is running a little too hot with uh, the 54 tooth configuration. So we're going to lower it down to uh, 50 just to see how that affects temperature. It should give us a cooler running time. So with the three screws out, there you go. Slide that on. It's all keyed. So on the back here, um, there's notches for where the screws go. So really handy. And here we go. Just put the three screws that were taken out back in. I just like to put in all the screws first just to make sure everything is uh, in place and then go back around again and tighten it. Whoops. Okay, so there you have it. Um, from here, the new spur is on, old spur is off. Just put this back into the chassis in the rear assembly. Um, like the way you found it when uh, you went to remove it. So this end goes into the chassis. Fish around there. Remove that. And then the rear assembly slides right on over. So actually, before putting on the uh, rear assembly, what would probably be a good thing to do at this point is mesh the gears. Um, I did just change the spur gear from a 54 tooth down to a 50 tooth. So the gear mesh or gap between this pinion and the spur is probably too large. So you should mesh the gear. Um, if you need to know how to do that, just watch one of our other videos. We wa uh, go through the steps on what's involved with that. So with the rear assembly back on the um, chassis here, that's really all there is to um, replacing the spur gear.